Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Bubsy and the Claws Encounters of the Furred Kind. This was one of my favorite games growing up, and it's a pleasure to share it with you today. Now this game was first released to the Sega, or Super Nintendo rather, and later ported to the Sega Genesis. I played the Sega Genesis version when I was a kid, but the fact is, there really is no difference. It's the same exact game, so I can play it on an SNES emulator, I could possibly and go just fine. So, we begin the first level. You see it's uh, brightly covered. Bubsy can run back and forth, he can jump. He can also glide. That's the unique thing about him. It helps you control his falls, basically. And if he falls too long without gliding, he dies. Alright, that shirt's a one-up. And those things down there that he's bouncing on are woolies. They are his enemies. Alright, so... This is a very fun game. People, a lot of people don't like it because they think it's pretty hard, but... I honestly don't think it's that hard. Alright, that exclamation point is a checkpoint. And those bananas, you don't want to slap on them. It's, you know, you'll slide around like a cartoon character. Because you are one. So, this um, sewer will throw you up. But if you let the thing hit you when it's in the air, it will kill you. Now, some sewers are death traps, but some are secret passageways. So... It's pretty it much is a matter of um, just knowing which ones are which. <coughs> and there are water slides here that Bubsy can slide on. But when it comes to big pools of water, you don't want to go in them. Since, after all, Bubsy is a cat of sorts, a bobcat, and by cartoon logic, cats hate water, you shouldn't go in the water. Right? Those... Um, little things are worth, um, I believe, 25 yarn balls. Now, the yarn is what he collects, and it kind of works like Mario's coins in that they don't really do anything for him, but if he collects a certain number, he will get an extra life, but the number is 500, and since you'll almost never um, get 500 yarn balls, it might as well be nothing at all. One other thing I like about Bubsy is his funny little animations. I'll show you in a second here. Ha! Huh, cute. Alright, anyway, that gumball machine is not your friend. It will kill you. In fact, just about everything in this game will kill you, and that's probably one reason that people think it's so hard. Um, this game is one-hit kills, so almost every obstacle you hit it and you die. But fortunately, they do give you nine lives to start. Alright, this invincibility shield works just like the star in Super Mario, where you can just run through everything and they don't stand a chance against you. You just maul them right through. Alright, bouncy tree. And we'll slide on this water slide of reverse gravity. A two up. So yeah, this game will have a lot of opportunities to kill you, but it will also give you plenty of lives. So, it's not too bad. Alright, we'll bounce our way up here, and we'll enter one of the secret caves. Now what do they do? They transport you between places, and they also bring you to the bonus level. Alright, here is first of the bonus level. They pretty much consist of just water slides with extra goodies that you can get. Some of the time they will have platforms in them and they will have extra lives. But this one is a pretty much a straightforward water slide bonus level. And to leave it, you just sort of jump off the world like that. Alright, here we go. I'll show you what these do. You can just transport between them. Sometimes it's between two, sometimes you can transport between three um, caves, and other times they're one-way caves, in which you can go through them, but you can't come back. Alright, we'll extend the bridge. And run across. Whoa, bananas. Oh, look. See that thing? That's a continue. You want to get those. 
You definitely do. Because you'll be able to start right on the level that you left off. You can still get back into the, to the game with a password. Now that red yarn thing is the goal. So let's get a big running start and hit it. The faster you run when you're hitting it, the more yarn balls you get. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the first level. We'll total up all our points here. I hope that you will stick with me for the second level. This game is divided into five worlds with three levels each and a final world for 16 levels. So, I can't wait to continue this, so I'll see all of you soon.